is good. Yeah. Good. We're here. Good, 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 good. Um, good morning, everyone. Um, it's a rather grey day, but that's okay because actually it looks okay. Yeah, like, I mean, you know, the lighting's okay, which is sort of what that's we care about. But it's, you know, classic Melbourne day. It's really grisly outside. It's uh, a total of 11 degrees Celsius, <laughs> uh, which is probably nothing in, like, a lot of the yeah. Northern Hemisphere <laughs> countries. But for us, it's just a bit, you know. Um, but fun. this is Two Girls in a Pod. Hello, I'm Sarah. I'm Paige. And we are going to talk about our knitting for the next 45-ish, maybe an hour, depending on... We're probably close to 45, eh? I don't know. I don't know. Well, it depends on... Depends on how many whips I have. So, of course, it is, uh, like, we're doing one of those, like, early morning recordings that we talked about last time where we come and record at about 7.30 in the morning before Sarah goes to work and she... Catch, oh, catches her bike. She rides her bike here, which I am constantly impressed by. And then she waltzes through my door and I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> and that's pretty much how we roll. Look, we're getting into a routine and it feels nice. Like, I really like these mornings. Like, so. It gets me going. You know what's so funny? Last time we were on here, you said, oh, I really like the morning start. And I said, yeah, so do I. <laughs> and <laughs> no. And the thing is, I do just because we're talking about me and it's you and I get to hang out and like. Literally, you know, when you get out, out of bed and you've got something fun to do, you kind of do it because yeah, it's fun. Yeah. So that's yeah. how I feel about this. But I was showing Jacob, who makes it, he gets a lot of mentions on the <laughs> um, He was uh, watching it and <laughs> when Sarah goes, he watched that clip of me saying, yeah, oh, I, I really good. like, I really yeah. like mornings too. And I reckon he nearly peed himself laughing. <laughs> he could, like, I, I literally have a clip, like I videoed him. <laughs> Being like, this is dramatic because he laughed so hard. And then he made me replay it for him a million times and then zoomed in on it. And then the funny thing is you say it and then there's this like slight hesitation. <laughs> um, but I think it's literally because I was still waking up. <laughs> it's like, can I bring myself to say something that you're not entirely sure is true? It was like, like the classic, like, I just want to fit in. I just want to be I like just, Sarah. I'm a morning, a morning person. person. I'm not a morning person at all. Yeah. I'm probably oh. going to go back to sleep after this. Oh, I would too if I could, if I didn't have to go to work. Um, but yes, we are meeting today on the lands of the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. Um, and it's really lovely to be here. Um, let's start with, we've not got a plan as per usual, um, but I think we can make it through. Let's start with what we're wearing. I think you should start with what you're wearing. Okay, let's start with what we're wearing. I am wearing this gorgeous jumper that I made a while ago. I'm going to stand up first and show you. But it is this bad boy. It's been a little bit, you know, in the cupboard and a bit creased. But it's quite oversized and I love it. And it's super duper warm. So this is the balloon sweater by Petite Knit. Oh my gosh, we need to start making different people's stuff. We are so Petite That's Knit okay. heavy. <laughs> it's fine. Whatever. I've got, I've got a few non-Petite Knit things to Okay, try. good. So this is Petite Knit. It was the second jumper that, no, the jumper I ever made. Um, and it's quite luxurious because at the time... I didn't really know how to pick appropriate yarn for projects still. Um, so it's made out of the Morrison Sons uh, Maya wool in like that Merlot burgundy colour. And it's held together with Rowan Kid Silk Haze. Is this the alpaca? In, yeah. So it's a combination. <laughs> this is what I mean. I picked like luxurious, oh my God. unnecessary <laughs> expensive. Well, I think this jumper cost me about $300 to make. But you know what? It is so stunning. It's, it looks so dramatic. I, it, it is. It is objectively dramatic. It was, um, so yeah, the Maya is 100% baby alpaca, super soft. And it was because I made the Klein sweater, like mm. the foresty color, yeah. and I loved it so much. So, and also because the other one that I made after, like as well, like the other petite knit one, which I told you guys about that it pilled heaps. Yeah, yeah, I decided, yeah. well, the first one didn't pill, so I'm only going to knit well, with this I yarn. Only knit in incredibly luxurious yarns. Yeah. And Which, then at the time, I didn't know that there was other kid silk haze equivalents oh, no, just the Rowan. apart from Rowan. Like yeah. I just hadn't found other cool yarn stores in Melbourne yet, yeah, yeah, yeah. which now I have. But, and it's not, sorry, it's not my favorite, but I have to say the colors were perfect. And yeah, it's I. Beautiful also didn't really know about like how to adjust to gauge and stuff yet it's quite it's a very like clearly i you know have a, i have a few critiques of myself but essentially um 
because the other petite knit ones that I had made were a little bit on the smaller side, I realized I was a tight knitter. Yeah. Um, so rather than increasing my needle size because I didn't want it to be too gappy, mm -hmm. I just made a size medium. But I didn't really think about the fact that that would mean that it would be very, very, very dense. Yeah, especially when you're holding two, like two yeah. strands, like, it's and it's dense. meant to be a DK. Like the pattern is for a DK yeah. yarn, and you've done it with a DK plus a mohair. Yes. Yeah. Plus, I'm already a tight knitter, mm -hmm. and I've made a medium. And I also, to top it off, didn't really think about like if it says to knit ten centimeters, you should only knit to the small ten centimeters and use just the stitch counts for mm -hmm. the small. So because of that, the shape is actually, it's not like, it might not look exactly the same if you were to make it, but I have to say the pattern stunning. I love it. Like you can kind of, you might not be able to appreciate because of, oh no, you kind of can. The sleeves have this cool, like little pleating yeah, look to really them cool. on the balloony sleeves. And like, I think if you're down for a luxurious vibe, I don't regret my yarn choice. It was purely for the money. <laughs> <laughs> like I could have gone further. Yeah. Um, but I, I love it. And the cuffs are cool. And Beautiful. the neckline um, isn't meant to be folded in, but sometimes I fold it in, sometimes I don't. I just decide. It just looks real classy. Mm. It's got a deep um, arm. Like I'm looking yeah. at it like. It's, it is a deep arm. It's almost like those sort of. 80s not like not that this is 80s that wingy that wingy thank you yeah yeah um very nice thank you i am also wearing my uh, alpaca like 100 like the same yarn Stun. this is my uh, april cardigan which i have it's gorgeous sort of finished um do you tell what you mean by that okay so i knit this essentially to pattern except for the sizing because I went down a needle size and my gauge was off but that's what I wanted because I wanted a denser fiber and I've noticed here that you've got a double knit button band yeah so the issue is I did the double knit button band I followed the tutorial by Florence yeah beautiful I'm planning fantastic on, I've got mine ready to do as well oh my god what if you, I don't know if you can see you can't see until I stand up I have picked up too many stitches along here and see, so like, I don't know if you can see, but it's like bowing out massively and it's really... Uh, I mean, it doesn't bother me a heat. It bothers me. It's bothering me a lot. So like, I obviously picked up the right number of stitches on this. Oh, I didn't realize it was asymmetrical. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay, fair. So I, yeah, it's... That's so frustrating because it would have taken it's you so long. Because it took me so long. I can't imagine. Um. So I kind of wanted to wear it anyway because it's... With the exception of the button band, I love it. Um, I, it's beautiful. I've done the, I did the size up from what I would normally make. So I, I, I kind of side, looked at it and I was like, I'd make a medium. Mm. But because I went down a needle size, so my gauge went down, up. Anyway, my gauge, it's meant to be a 21 stitch gauge. And I did a 20, like this ended up being about 24 stitches. So to accommodate for that, I went up in, up a, yeah. a body size. Um, and then I had to add... 15 centimeters of length to the sleeves because I have long arms. You're a long armed gal. Um, it means that Sleeve Island is really. It's a lot, it's a big island. It's a big island. <laughs> um, but so I was like loving it, feeling great. And then I did the button band. I spent so long on it because it takes a long time. I mean, I think if I was going to do a, if I was casting off like with the tubular bind off, that would also take a crazy long time to cast off all these stitches. Wait. But I'm happy with the effect. Oh, do you cast it? I thought you go, you're making it like that. The, what, the garment? Oh, wait, sorry, sorry, you mean once you've done that? Once, yeah. So yeah. I just knitted it and then yeah, picked yeah, up yeah. stitches and did a double knit button band that way. And yeah. that's why I've got this issue that it's stretched yeah. out because I've put too many stitches on here. Um, the other thing was I miscalculated where the buttons button should holes. go. So the buttonholes are too high. That's so annoying. So... I am, a, that's why I haven't sewn the things in because I'm probably going to rip it out, uh, which is a bit sad. You know what, this is not giving me the push I need to fix mine. I have, I've got two, I've got a solution that I think I will do and I think a solution that if you were going to do this on the April cardigan, I think you should do. Go, tell me. My solution is I'm going to rip it out and I'm going to knit the band separately and then sew it on because that way I've got more control. There's a, there's a podcaster who has just done a pattern her 
podcast is called Hive Knits. Okay. She's from the UK, but she was doing this thing where she was knitting it separately and kind of stretching and ironing and blocking and stretching the mm. band as she went, and then she sewed it on. And it just allows you to get the right thing. I get I that. I just don't trust myself but to I'm get concerned. the right stitch. No so you know how you do it. You Actually, should, I should pay attention to my gauge. No, no. Oh. Anthea taught me this method, and I love it. And it's basically you put, like, when you've ripped it out, put pins and then kind of calculate how many stitches you need between each pin. But I don't know how many stitches I need. Why not? Because I just made it up. I just like, because I picked up one stitch oh. for every, I picked up a stitch for every row. No, and that was I'm too, too much, much of a perfectionist. I, will, I do it by pattern also. This is like, I'm oh, sorry. Um, so like, for instance, if it says 350, 350 divided by eight, I do eight pins and then do it. Oh, okay. Like actually follow the pattern. <laughs> okay yeah, fair enough. yeah cool i guess i'll do that next time no yes. i'm gonna do it no i mean like like i never i never count i just like i just pick up this I, is probably why you actually finish your garments because the concept of trying to match that number up gives me so much anxiety and frustration because if it's not right i rip back and redo it until i get the number wow and then, like, if it's not something, like, say, like, I'm running into this issue, like, I realise, oh, my goodness, I've got this much space and it doesn't correlate with how many stitches roughly I have left, I will, like, rip back until I can make it correlate, which can sometimes be the whole neckline or whatever. Ooh, I don't know. I mean, ultimately, that's probably a more time-efficient way than knitting the entire band and realising that it doesn't fit. But this anyway. is true, but it's one of the main... I'd say it's the primary reason for why a lot of my garments sit without ninety like percent done. Yeah. Um, so that's. I think that's. I mean, I'll, maybe I'll try it and see because I don't think I could. I don't trust myself. Or maybe I should just count how many rows I've done and then make sure I'm. I mean, it, picking up you less. don't have to be exact. Like you can still do the pin thing, and then that way you can like vaguely we'll just make sure that they're matched yeah. especially on something that needs to be equal you can realize like oh wait i can't just have like 20 more stitches yeah, between yeah, these yeah, yeah. two pins yeah i also um should i talk about my project because one last thing yeah go it's just that so petite knit has other patterns and lots of people have other patterns where you knit the band in as you go so it would, it would i wish i did that it would take poetry. a bit more like pattern wrangling with this pattern to add in the, the button band and knit it as you go but that's obviously going to be a much better way of making sure that it's even and it's nice mm. it's just to knit it as you go i mean it looks beautiful i'm like yeah i'm 90 percent happy with it yeah love it it's, it's gorgeous and it feels and like the drape is nice it's beautiful and warm and i'm so obsessed with this color i can't i just this is my dream the most color. Sarah color of all time. <laughs> um, it's so funny because this is like not a color that would sell out. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's a niche favorite color. Yeah, there's not. It, yeah. Um, but yes, this is my April card again. Uh, hopefully I can show it again in a more finished thing. And um, yeah, it'll be great. No, you were going to say something. Oh, I was going to talk about the buttons. No, talk about the buttons. Okay, so there's this crazy button shop in Melbourne. <gasps> yeah, your favorite. It's, your favorite. Our uh, favorite is... It's a, it's kind of, it's so stressful to go in because it's so chaotic. It's like this kind of underground basement cupboard situation. Yeah, but it's your Roman Empire. You're constantly talking about this button <laughs> shop. <laughs> it's wild. Anyway, I went in the other day and I took this in because I wanted to buy buttons to match. And the owner was kind of sitting in the middle of the shop faffing around. And he goes, oh, as, as I pulled it out, he goes, oh, chartreuse. That's an interesting colour. <laughs> That's so humbling. Um, <laughs> And I was like, so it's called Jimmy's Buttons. It's wild, but Jimmy is about five foot nothing. And like this kind of uh, old man. That's an interesting colour. Uh, he, was, he was just like, he was really intrigued. He was like, oh, let's see if I can help you find the exact right colour button in his like. To be fair, it's probably like, this is a challenge that I haven't had in a no, while. actually. Everyone yeah. brings in beige. <laughs> or um, gray or black. So he was pulling out all these buttons and helping me like totally honestly. Like he just dived in. He was so into it. And then he, we just couldn't the find. Passion. He couldn't find anything. He's like, you know what? I think I need to dye some anyway. Give me a snip of that yarn. And so I gave him like an off cut. And he like took a bag of white buttons in the right size, and he's like, "I'm gonna, I've got to need to get some buttons dyed anyway." So he's going to dye. Oh my god! You've got right custom buttons. <laughs> so 
So they, I might be able to show them next time when I finish this properly, but I'm going to have chartreuse buttons, like oh specifically to match the color of this yarn, which is wild. That's so um, extra. And I was, I just didn't, I didn't, I barely said anything. He just took away with like, he I feel like you wouldn't have even thought that that was an option. I wouldn't have thought I about even know you button dye buttons. I thought these were all like going to be like some wholesale yeah, no, he, that he's purchased it. He literally he took yarn so that he could match the colour of the buttons. Totally, oh, I did not. I really love this to. guy. But Jimmy, thank you. <laughs> Jimmy Wild I shop. That. I your stock take would be a nightmare. I don't think he stock takes. It's too, it's yeah. too overwhelming. Yeah, I think like there are some things like bead shops and button shops that you just don't. Couldn't, you couldn't do. It. <laughs> anyway, um, but yes, that was all I was going to say about that. Can Stay I tuned. Be... Reason that I said I should talk about my project. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is because I had a little segue. So, this is hilarious. I clearly haven't been studying a lot. Firstly, <laughs> you know how like Sarah always has more done than me? Well, can we just talk about the fact that I started and have almost finished my silly <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> All right. Um, start from the start. Oh okay, my goodness. so... I loved Sarah's silly slipover. I'm in my slipover era. <laughs> from my fuck era. <laughs> Um, and I just wanted something textured and I've had this Bendigo Woolen Mills yarn for ages. This is the Woodlands yarn. Oh, sorry. Actually, it's not Woodlands. It's very similar, but it's called Alpine. Mm -hmm. um, this is That yarn was released like maybe about a year ago. And it's the one that I bought that I was so obsessed with that I was sort of like, I need to get more and inspired me to buy the Woodlands. And Sarah inspired too. me to also buy a truckload of Woodlands. Um, anywho, so I thought... It took me like a little while to kind of come to terms with the fact that I have a jumper quantity of this and it kind of felt like a waste, but I decided I need to just knit the things that I want to knit with the yarn that I have like and not them. just save them and then buy a new yarn to meet a new project. And also like I can de-stash it. So I was saying to Sarah, yeah. I like successfully de-stashed some extra yarn from a project recently so easily and I think it's a better way to go. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I decided to also knit a silly slipover. Um, this is the petite knit. Oh, but now I've just like like started saying silly even though I would never have said it's not the silly. actually silly. Silly, anyway. It's probably like the silly or the si or silly. I don't silly. know how to pronounce silly. it. Um, it's got this beautiful texture to it. Um, I feel like the camera is really picking up the texture nicely. Ooh, on yeah, there, so. I think it's probably like it's probably more subtle in real life. It is more subtle in real life, but you can like really appreciate it. The yeah. tweediness of it. Mm. Yeah. So this is made out of it's like I kind of remember now. It's mostly like just like wool, like sheep wool and alpaca, and then like a little bit of neps for the tweedy bit. I have to admit, I think I told Sarah the other day we had this like cute little knit night. Mm. Um does feel a bit super washy. I don't love the feeling of knitting with it, if I'm being completely honest. I love how it's looking, don't love the feel of but I knitting. But like I like how it feels. Nah, it's all right. I'm not obsessed with it, sure. but that's fine. I like the color, it's just the feel. And I think now I've gotten to the point where I'm just being really fussy and like- <laughs> That's because you're wearing like ultra black <laughs> things. And you're like, oh. But I think as well, I'm sort of like, well, why would I knit with anything that isn't super luxurious? Which yeah, I know like, is like a silly mindset. Like you should just appreciate it. Everything has its purpose. But I think cause I feel so time poor at the moment, I kind of feel like everything when I do knit, I want it to be a really luxurious experience. Mm. So anyway, but it's fine. Um, I am up to like, so I've cast off the bottom. I did contemplate not casting off the bottom and then leaving it to the end and letting it sit in my cupboard forever. But <laughs> then I realized because it's a two by two, the cast off is going to be super easy because yeah. I was going to do the easy, just slip it over, like knit the knits, knit the yeah, uh, pearl cast to pearls, off cast off just like regularly. And it's a little bit of a tight cast off, but it's not too tight, so it's fine. Um, and I started picking up the armholes and this was like at 2 a.m. So I decided no, I've got to go to bed. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to try and finish this no, garment be before that. the morning. That's what um, I do and I regret, but here we are. Yes. Well, anyway, so this one, I was in a 2 a.m. mood and I decided to just wing it and didn't use my pin <gasps> to get the complete thing. Oh my God. And I was only... And I feel like I'm not, it's not as risky when it's only picking up this much too. Like I don't hate it if I have to undo the whole thing. But I was only 10 stitches off. And then I thought, hmm, I have two options. I can just 
go with the 10 stitches off or I could make it perfect because <laughs> that's oh the human I am but I didn't undo it and I found a method that I really like which it could potentially pave the way to a brighter future for me when it comes to finishing garments which is so you know like so you've picked up all your stitches mm. and you go to knit your first row just if you're short like when I'm too when I've got too many I normally just like knit a couple two together oh, yeah, at yeah. the underarm to make it the right yep. amount this is like the tricky one if but you've got I, too just, few. I just like pretend I'm doing a make one left or make one right but just like just kind of pick up a stitch between two stitches in between oh, yeah. as I'm knitting the first round oh, okay I like that. And it's like so easy. And then like as you're going, you can kind of be like, oh yeah, there's like a slight little gap there. Like I could you kind could, of yeah, make it yeah. work. And then I just picked up like the next extra 10 on my first round and now I have a perfect number. And I'm just, I feel really proud of it. And it's such a simple, like obvious thing to do. No, I've never thought of doing that. It's a but really... I've never thought of <laughs> counting. <laughs> um, I'm impressed. Yeah. Very good. So I really like it. Um, I'm going to have this done, I reckon, like before our next episode. Um, we'll... I'm hoping anyway. I'm actually just having flashbacks to the fact that when I did mine, I didn't count the stitches for the neckband. Yeah. And I knit the whole neckband and then realised I hadn't, I was like 20 stitches short and it was really tight. Yes. And I'm just having a little bit of a like realisation about myself and the fact that. That you should. I should just take it more seriously. <laughs> and I would save myself time because this is. Actually, my last two projects, I've had to rip out the neckband, which obviously on the slipover is lower stakes than this. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's an armhole, but... But both, I'm just realising that I should just take more care in my... The funny knitting. thing is, like, I didn't realise people were so chill about it, because Anthea <laughs> goes through the same torments that I do. So we, like, regularly bond, and as I said, she's the one who told me about the pin method which was revolutionary for mm. her because she was saying oh my gosh you know that thing now i get this right count every single time mm. i like that yeah makes sense good um what's next i think it's time to divert away from petite knit yeah because <laughs> we're three, yeah. we're three from three so far yeah let's talk about what have i got what have i got um i've got so i've got a uh work in progress which i'll also talk about the yarn because I the yarn looks, wait is this wait can I guess the yarn yeah is that Pippin no oh damn it wait can I look at it no can't guess okay so I put in an order on like some random Etsy store selling Samuskan yarn oh and so I just is this the one from Lithuania yeah I, think I literally <laughs> <laughs> is it so funny that I know this random Etsy shop in Lithuania as well so, yeah. oh the postage is not too bad too yeah 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 that you can like kind of justify yeah yeah, yeah yeah like it's not I didn't want to do a full like go out yeah, 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 like yeah, full yeah, European yeah. order of European yarn I like I love that like I've definitely been tempted and then backed out every time because I've been like no I don't it's not too bad yarn. it's not too bad but Actually, maybe I'll talk about the other ones first. So okay, go. the purpose of the order was to get some fritted garn. Yes. To make more of the slipper socks. She's obsessed. Yes. I'm obsessed. I'm also. Um, You've got a little movement happening on Instagram. I swear. I'm so. I feel like I'm personally. I, I'm so proud, and I'm like, oh, it's all. It's not all me, but like, I'm so excited at all the people who. You're have an watched. inspiration. I'm so excited all the people who've watched the video and have been sharing their slipper socks with me and I love seeing them all so thank you everyone who has posted and um I just love seeing them and I love the fact that more people are cozy and have warm toes because of this pattern but um yeah that slipper sock is just the best so I was like I need to buy more to make more slipper socks for everyone in my life so I bought three colors um these are the ones I got this is going to be for my mum cute and then one of these two is gonna be for my dad not sure very which. sweet i've started doing the ones for my mum like and barely started but remind started. me is it one two skeins per pair no it's much more than that or also oh, for mine i used four. Oh, okay sorry i didn't realize it was so many more because well, it's they're, they're doubly thick yeah i forgot um yeah and for my mum's i've only bought three my dad's might use four and a bit not sure um, but yeah, so look, this is, this is a bit chaotic. Also, can I just say, bloody love the Judy Magic, uh, uh, yeah, the, Judy's, yeah. yeah, what's that Judy's Magic Judy's Magic cast on. Cast on, yeah. It's yeah. very, it's just very satisfying. Um, so this is my, like, it's barely a whip, but this is my 
the, the first of the two, first in the pair of the slipper socks for my mum. Um, I kind of wanted to have one done because I promised a few people in the comments of the last, in the comments of the slipper sock video that I was going to show you how to turn them inside out because a few people had questions about that. Oh, right. Um, which I was trying to like type and explain how you turn one inside the other, but it wasn't really working. Um, so I'm sorry I haven't finished this, but maybe in the next video I'll have one. Yeah. Done. I'll show you how to turn, yeah. turn it inside out. And I'm sorry that it didn't do that in the original video. But anyway, so I bought three colors in the Fritted Scarn um, to make lots of slipper socks. It's good because they're going quick. So hopefully Christmas presents this year will happen quickly. Um, and then I also bought some other Samuskan yarns that you could also get. I'm so place. like excited because I, you guys will be so proud. I haven't broken my yarn. Ben? Yes. Sorry. I'm still waking up. Sarah made me wake up early, guys. <laughs> um, but I mean, I've been tempted many a time and today might be the day. I'll tell you later. Yeah. Good. Um, so this was from the same order. This is... I just wanted to try it. It is double Sunday. Yeah, love. And, you know, a lot of people rave about it, especially for beanies. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. So, um, I, when I got it in the ball, I was a bit like, mm, yeah, it's nothing. Yeah, mm, yeah. It's whatever. Um, literally, right at the front of the ball, there's like a knot. And I was like, mm, please. But anyway. <laughs> Maya would never do this to me. <laughs> Hasn't happened yet. <laughs> um, but... And so on the ball, I was like, meh, but as it's knitting up, it's feeling really nice. It looks nice and it looks very, very even. Like it looks uh, reg like really regular or something, knit up. Yeah, yeah. So I am making another uh, Essential Beanie by Andrea Gorn. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like this is probably the third or fourth video in a row that I've talked about this pattern. It's fine. Um, but it's just such a, such a good pattern that I'm making another one. This is going to be a beanie for my brother for Christmas, my other brother. And um, I need to post it to him in London because I feel like it's getting cold there. It looks really cute. I love the colour of it. It's a really good hunter green. Yeah, it's really nice. It, the colour is called Pine, I think, from mm. um, one of the Santa Scan colours. Mm -hmm. um, I love it. Really happy with this pattern. It's going, it's like, it's just two by two rib. It's a really good travel project. I took it away with me recently. Um, I love this yarn. I love this pattern. As a, it's like a good Sold. combo. Um, there's currently a knit along for this pattern. Ah. Um, so I think it might finish soon. Okay. But there's there's lots of projects on Instagram at the moment. So if you're looking for some inspo on Ooh. a two by two rib beanie or people who've knit this pattern, it's a good one and you can check it out. Well, I have my, um, you know, the yarn from Great Ocean Road Woolen Mills? Yeah. Still haven't knit my beanie from that. Oh, the one that we were going to do from last year's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You knitted your beanie, right? I did. I did. What pattern did you use, Mia? I, I just made one up. It was a, I, I did a two by two rib beanie, but I <laughs> It was before this pattern existed. It was before existed. this pattern existed. Because I was going to make. Which is a shame because the crown on this is really beautiful. I was going to make a September hat. Oh, yeah. Because, but that's purely because that's the pattern that I already have and I made and it was pretty easy. But I think I might actually use that pattern because mm. it's cool. a little bit denser than a brioche. Yeah. Like I think it'd be nicer. Yeah. Well, the, the sample that we yeah. saw that prompted us to both buy the arm was a two by two. Rib, really. Yeah, it was a two by two and it definitely wasn't brioche. And also brioche because it's quite a chunky yarn. It might end up being like too, too much. voluminous. Too much. Um, but yeah, that was a bit of a like all over the place acquisitions works in progress situation there yeah, what else um, have you got um not much really the only thing that i have left is my other work in progress which i thought you know what i'll just show you where i'm where i'm up to with it um so this is did i just turn the camera did i knock it oh well oh, whatever well. um this is my zipper sweater progress so far um, I made it, as I said in my previous videos, it's uh, the Nora Yarn in S1 on Matama. Um, it's not the sock version, it's the regular version of the Silk Garden Solo by Noro. And then I'm holding it together with the Cartier Concept Mohair. Um, I think I've mentioned before, this does not feel luxurious, but it's the perfect colour and that's what I wanted. Mm. And it's 
fit for the job and I feel like it looks a little bit different on camera it's definitely a little bit more cooler toned and more sat like less contrasty I like IRL on the camera it's looking like a bit stripy but it's a lot it's a lot more subtle yeah it's much more subtle um maybe like once it's all done and everything you guys will get to see all the pictures um on Instagram and then you'll get to see a truer accurate more accurate mm -hmm. representation of what it the looks pouch, like pouch come up. but it's great um and I love the color on it it's a twisted red collar um, stunning so, I mean, you guys can tell we love petite knit. We do. We do. But I have to admit something. I felt really betrayed when I bought this pattern. <gasps> I was here when you bought it. And I'm I so annoyed. You to buy it. I'm yeah. so annoyed. So, like, don't get me wrong. I'm all about, like, purchasing patterns. Even if I have, like, friends with the pattern, I still purchase it because I know they take effort to make. And they're really, up in the great grand scheme of things, they're not that expensive. Mm. It's like, what, 10, 10 bucks? Like, Whatever. get over it, you know? Just just be spend the $10. But I bought the man version. Well, actually, no, I bought the light man version and then realized it wasn't suitable for the project I was making. And then I bought the regular version. The regular man version. The regular man version. And that was great. And then I was with Sarah and I thought, mm, you're about to cast this one on yeah. and you're like, should I just use this like the man, man version. version or should I buy the zipper sweater? The women, like the version. regular women's version. And I thought, mm, is the pattern actually going to be different? Because I'll be really annoyed if it's not. And then we were talking about saying the shaping might be different. Also, the stitch counts for the actual um, sizes will probably be different. So I thought, okay, yeah, fair enough. I'll just buy it. I bought it. It's exactly the same. Like, as in, word for word, the stitch counts are the same. I think, like, there aren't even additional sizes. Like, the extra small men's is the same stitch count as an extra small women. Like, it really... <sighs> Look, there's... I feel like, I think from memory, it's the... It's like twisted rib instead of regular Yeah, rib so that's what actually prompted and me was looking like... at the collar. The only difference, and like, I don't know if I'm going to get like sued or if this is ethical. <laughs> the only difference, I, I mean, I, I feel like, like only buy one pattern. I don't, I've never like tried to encourage people to not buy a pattern before, but you don't need two. You definitely don't need three. Um, and the reason is because the women's the only difference is the twisted rib everything else is the same and i was disappointed by that i and yeah. then i kept telling myself mm, no nah, it'll be somewhere like the shaping somewhere will be different just not up to that part of the pattern no 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 like i'm pretty much almost at the body now it's the same so that's my only uh feedback on that mm. one it's a little bit of how you're going but yeah. that's okay it's fine it's fine i wasn't hurt at all anyway I feel like that was a bit of a weird note. I can't no, I'm it. like I'm. No, no, no. I've got one. I've got a few more. Thank God. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. I bought yarn. <laughs> Every time you say you're buying yarn or have bought yarn, I'm so jealous. <laughs> and I feel. I don't know if I should message you to ask if you want to go in. No, on please it. just message me anyway. I, I be, like, I'm getting in your face. no, but I'm getting such FOMO. <laughs> like I'm not gonna lie. When you brought out this uh, the Sunday, like double Sunday, I felt really betrayed. I tried to hide it because we're on the recording. <laughs> But it's like when you say like, oh yeah, by the way, I hung out with these friends, but I didn't invite you. That's how That's I felt. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, so I have a little bit more mm. yarn to show. Um, yeah, I've had I've, like lots of acquisitions recently. Um, the other things I've bought are more. <laughs> I love. I bought more of this I'm alpaca. So so glad that you have this for me to look at in real life because I've been tempted to buy the grey but I, I never know what kind of grey it's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> so sad. So um, today we are sponsored, we're not sponsored, but like we might as well be by Morrison Sons Maya 8 Ply. One, two, three. Um, yeah, that's actually crazy. We go through. Yeah, like, it's, a, well, it's just a beautiful yarn. So this is um, this is the same yarn, obviously, as these two. It's an 8 Ply 100% Baby Alpaca from Morrison Sons, which is kind of one of the more commercial yarn stores in Australia. Um, but they do a really good 100% alpaca. Um, I love it. Beautiful. It's beautiful and soft. Um, I've not brought all 12 balls that I bought with me because I don't want to take them to work. Um, but I got this sort of uh, really lovely soft grey colour to make a... I'm doing a test knit for Andrea Gorn. Same, uh -huh. same lady who wrote the beanie pattern. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be, it's called the front porch pullover, 
Ooh. Um, it's, it's really simple. It's it's just a like a drop shoulder relaxed fit sweater. sweater. Um, but I really like her patterns. I really like the consideration she makes to fit. It looked beautiful and cozy and comfy. I'll show you a picture afterwards. Right. Um, but I thought something like this uh, with maybe a, like a on a four mil needle. So I did this one on 3.75 because I wanted something a little bit Denser. tighter. But this one on a four, loose and drapey, drop shoulder will be will be really nice. So I'm really excited to finally start knitting this. I had a lot of trouble getting this yarn because it's sold out everywhere. It's sold out everywhere. I was going to say because I've looked at Maya on Morrison Sons online and like most of the colors are sold yeah. out don't worry chartreuse is not sold out <laughs> i'll have you guys know it nearly is i had to like put some aside anyway <laughs> sorry <laughs> i love my life choices okay um they are getting a lot more they're getting a new run in december so if yeah, you right. live in australia or you can access this yarn treat yourself in december they're getting all of their colors back in because I'm vibing the grey, I'm also vibing the oat colour they have. Oh, that's and really nice. But There's gone. also one called Donkey, which is like a mild beige colour, which is very, very much nice. a vibe. Very nice. The other thing that I feel like we haven't really talked a heap about is when you knit with this, the fabric that it creates is uh, the opposite of gappy. It's like filled in. I don't yeah. know how to explain it. It just, it fills all the it gaps. It clumps up. Yeah, it blooms really yeah. nicely. Yeah. And then it almost, like the stitch definition kind of disappears a bit but it still looks neat i don't know how to explain it so the fabric is just gorgeous yeah that it makes so um i am excited about that it's taken me a long time to get the yarn so i'm getting a little bit anxious that like test knit due date anxious thing that i haven't even started it but i'm banking on it flying how did you get it the I, yarn. I had to i went into the store and oh. they ordered it from yeah. like their warehouse they the last 12 balls um they had it shipped down yeah, right. To the okay. store. I, I went into the store and picked it up. Um, so they're really nice and really helpful. Oh, yeah, the customer lovely. service there is great. Very lovely. Yeah. But I'm excited to start this one now that this is done. I think I need to put this one aside. I can't deal with this band for a while. I'm going to start this because yeah, I'm getting fair. that, like, anxiety about not starting the test What yet. is that that I spy in there? And I have one more yarn. What is that that this I is, see in there? This is, um, I just, I've lost the plot a little bit. I've bought too much yarn. Um, you might want to sit down. This is like not me. This is, I was just going to, are you, are you okay? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> it's giving um, Little Mermaid. <laughs> this yarn is one that I kind of, okay. So I've been planning on making a hot water bottle cover for a while. Right. Okay. This is not. This is not something I would wear on me. Oh my gosh! Should I? I'll go get mine. Should I go oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go get it. Go then get you it. can like see the vibe. Is that was my? Was that your inspiration? Yeah, more or less. Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I mean, obviously, I wasn't prepared, so it's a bit pilled. But no. Um, I've just I've been thinking about a hot water bottle cover for a while. Um, and. I then I got an email from some yarn. Oh, this is from Little Woolly Makes. Oh, I got yeah, that email. I really like, like There's it. this new yarn in, and I was in a moment of weakness. Was like, Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted something fun because like I'm not going to wear this color, but no. I want to enjoy a fun color. So I've bought one skein of a yarn called Twisted Ambition Yarns, hand dyed with Wicked Street Style. Hold your hats. Um, look, it looks fun. It looks a bit crazy. Um, I just wanted something fun. It's an eight ply, like it's a DK, 100% merino, dyed somewhere in Australia, I'm guessing. Anyway. So I vibe this. This is my hot water bottle cover, which as you can see, it's like quite a fun yarn choice. This is Red and Ollie yeah. in you eight ply. Eight ply yeah. And one of the most satisfying things about these like hectic yarns in an eight ply is it's perfect it's like the perfect amount for a good hot water bottle cover and it looks it looks sick mm. and then you can pick like a matching yeah. hot water bottle that like really suits it so i think so, yeah, that's a great it idea. was just like a real spur of the moment buy but it looks fun and yeah i love it i didn't want to cake it up until i showed you guys how it looks yeah in this game, i was, was not nice gonna lie stuff. i was actually a little bit concerned about where you're at when, <laughs> like blink twice that, <laughs> yeah <laughs> like free britney 
<laughs> or um, no, I shouldn't laugh though. That was quite tragic. But um, no, I just like it's kind of like socks. Like you, you've got to take the opportunity to use bunny yarn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll allow it. Now that I know the purpose, yeah. I know you're okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, they're all my knitting things. I've got one sewing thing. Oh my god, I just keep talking. Sorry. No, no I mean before we go into the sewing thing. Um, so what's prompted me to? break my yarn band oh. i don't know if it's a terrible 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 idea because i don't have a project in mind for it whatever but did you see maker makers having a sale no what i, uh, I got the email last <laughs> night that maker makers having a bit of a sale oh no that's and bad. all their ochre 306 is on sale and they have some nice colors oh my Oh, are you serious? And it's not super on sale, like, but you're saying... No, but like, you're taking the edge off what's, like, it's becoming a reasonably prized yarn. The other thing that concerns me about it is, does that mean what's happening to Oka 306? <gasps> it's all going on sale. Like, because I buy all of my, like, Oka from Maker Maker. How am I going to see the colours in person? Anyway, so basically, I'm thinking about cleaning out Maker Maker of the Oka 306. <laughs> Quite gen genuinely, I think they're selling it at about twenty eight dollars per skein. Oh my gosh! Um, and it's like, like it's a good. It's I think it's like right. maybe three or four hundred. No, it's three hundred meters per skein. Um, it's four ply, but it's yeah. like, it's Same. gorgeous. So I'm very tempted to buy some jumbo quantities in it. Um, we can look at it after we finished recording, please. Um, I think that was probably what I needed to tip me over to probably try that yarn because I've been eyeing it off for so long. It's so yeah, beautiful. it's. It's amazing. Oh, like, oh. oh anyway, no. Oh, no. That's oh, where no. we're at. Okay, good, good. I didn't know that they were having sale. Now I do. You can tell me about your sewing stuff. Okay. okay. Um, I just wanted to talk about um, a sewing project that I've been working on, which is my trousers that I'm wearing. So this is going to be real awkward. But These are awesome. Um, I have made, they're all, they're in linen, so they're a bit crinkly and it's probably hard to see. But they're so cool. Sarah. Maybe I'll show some. Oh, I can't believe you made those. I'll show some extra footage later. They're perfection. But um, <gasps> these are the worker trousers by the Modern Sewing Co. I love them. They are a fantastic pattern. Can you do a little twirl? I like couldn't fully appreciate like the pockets. They're literally perfect. Um, really impressed with this pattern. I can't believe you made. I'm sorry. I know I keep saying this. I can't believe you made those. I yeah. I, they they look really like they come together really well. They I'm look really like a luxe pattern. like Camilla and Mark. Thanks. Like they're amazing. I've used a heavyweight linen from the fabric store, so it's like it's bottom beautiful. weight, like one of the heavier linens because they were having a sale. Mm. I thought it would be rude not to, but mm. I really like kind of. Um, like a straight leg, maybe a little bit of peg leg or like tapering in a little bit at the bottom. Um, and this is a really great pattern. They fit really nice. Um, and like the instructions are not fantastic. Um, so like their instructions on how to do the fly are not great, but I would, I would normally go to a different, like I'd rather watch a YouTube video than follow written instructions for a fly anyway. So it's like, they're not fantastic, but it's kind of actually not the issue like not the biggest issue because the thing that I'm buying a pattern for is for the fit and the cut of the pattern pieces and this one is oh, really nice. And the colour as well. Yeah. It's, it's. I'm sad I can't wear this cardigan to work because I really enjoy these together. In my life. I mean, you can still just cop it for the day. But like this? I mean, you just, oh, yeah. I didn't realise how hectic it yeah. was. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit chaotic in yeah. there. Um, look, I think we've rambled. I've rambled. I say we. I have rambled significantly. Nah, I think it was a good amount of rambling. I realise, like, I'm still, like, waking up. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, this is my fault because, yeah, I didn't. I forgot to take my medications. So, <laughs> so I'm also sleepy. But I'm really excited for us to go get a chai and go scope out the sale online. <laughs> I could. I've got a day off. I could technically go in, but I can't be bothered. No, you have to wait for me too. <laughs> yeah. I'm not coming in now, mate. But what if it goes gets sold out? Fine. Maybe I have to order online. We'll see. Um, thank you to everyone who has made comments and subscribed and liked and um, shown the channel support recently. It's so appreciated. Um, it's really nice seeing all the um, 
the nice things people say and it's really nice seeing everyone's projects it's and, so nice um, it's been really great chatting with everyone and um so please continue chat away chat away <laughs> share our love make us feel less crazy for loving <laughs> and being so obsessed with knitting yeah um but yes thank you so much and we will see you all next time bye bye interrupt the recording just to get my tea oh my goodness <laughs> it's so far away it's so cold by now too <laughs> sarah like inhales her tea yeah no i'm trying not to like slurp it all down but i'm <sighs> okay so okay